showing a chair assembly, I showed one of my finished products in a video before and I got people asking me about these chairs. So here are four side chairs in these boxes and I buy them from a company called Main Made Furniture Company and I've been working with them for a while. Okay, so I have all the parts laid out. These are the seats. These are the bows. And I was told these bows are actually made by another company, a larger factory. And it takes a very complicated machine to clamp these bows into its form and drill all these holes. That's the difficult part if you're going to make a chair by hand. These are the rungs for the seats. You'll notice that there's two different kinds of wood here. That's because these are paint grade chairs, which is the least expensive option. Is that Joe? Oh, hey there, Joe. How are you doing? So, so I have a mixture of woods. I have cherry and maple. And so when you order the paint grade chair, you don't really have a choice of, of material. It's just, oh, hey there. <laughs> Joe got a little excited there. Um, so it's mismatched wood, but for a paint finish, it doesn't matter. I actually prefer to use the cherry or the birch because the maple is a lot more difficult to sand and it doesn't take the paint quite as well um, but it works fine it's just basically you know more difficult to sand than the other woods so the company actually supplies these instructions and they're kind of comical because they're not very well written and the pictures are very difficult to see um, and there's a lot of information and tips that are really essential to making these efficiently and properly but it's you know this is just a very brief overview and they just expect you to have you know some knowledge of woodworking before you go ahead and start putting one of these together these side chairs are a lot simpler than the armchair uh, version that version has more rungs on the seat and a more complicated bow and I find those are actually very difficult to assemble and you really need two people to do it but these side chairs go together pretty quick so these are the wedges for assembling the bows into the seat there's a little slot on the bottom here to accept the wedge So let's get started.
you'll notice I didn't apply glue to the actual rung. I just applied glue to the seat hole. And these actually fit in really, really tight, so it didn't need to have more glue. These are locked in place instantly. But for all of the other joints, I apply glue to both the tenon and the hole. But this is just a shortcut that I can get away with without uh, kind of minimizes that mess. So there's no glue squeeze out there. So here's another quick tip. This is actually important and totally worth the time doing. But to just take a quick measurement. It's 20. And it's 19 and 3 quarter. So th this one is not seated properly. Um, it's up a quarter inch. Sometimes it's difficult to tell if the rung is seated all the way into the hole when you're pounding on it. So it's much better just to double check to make sure. And if one of them is sticking up too tall, that means that the other rungs adjacent to it won't fit together properly during the glue up. And that could potentially cause glue up failure. So it's definitely worthwhile to take the time to double check the measurements. If one of them is sticking up too tall, it's simple just to trim a little bit off the top to make sure it's the right dimension and that fixes the problem. So right here I'm sanding the ends of the rungs and the purpose of this is to help with fitting them into the holes because the next assembly operation is rather complicated and I have to fit all of these rungs in at the same time. So anything I can do to make that go easier is going to help.
All right, well that's it for chairs. I don't know if I'm gonna be building any more of these. If you need a good hardwood chair, these are really good products. And they're comfortable and practical.